Hi, I'm George Pearson. In this Photoshop Elements video, we'll be doing this kaleidoscope effect here based upon, let me just make a copy up here, based upon this initial photograph. Now, if you enjoy this video, make sure that you click that like button and also share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can view all of my videos and you won't miss out on any new videos. And to learn everything about Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training courses and you'll find a link for that up there in the upper right hand corner. Okay, let's get to it. Let's start off this Photoshop Elements Kaleidoscope look with the original file. Let me just close this down and you'll find a link for this image in the materials for this video. Now, you don't have to use this image, you can use any image you want, but I just recommend getting something with a lot of color in it, like I have here. Now, I need to have this as a square, so I need to crop off stuff I don't want, and I want to keep the top section and crop off the bottom, which isn't as bright. We'll do that by going up to Image, Resize, and using Canvas Size for that. In here, I want to make the width the same as the height, and since the width is smaller, I'm just going to match this size down here. So let's just type that in, 4.267. And I want to keep the top part of this. I'll set my anchor point at the top. This will then clip off anything down below. Choose OK. And there it is. All right, let's just zoom this in to fit our screen. So that's the first step. Get your initial picture and then trim that picture to a square format. OK, now. Go over here to the background layer and drag it up here to make a duplicate of that layer. Here's our layer copy. We're going to rotate this layer by 45 degrees. An easy way to do that is just to use the Control T keyboard shortcut, which brings up the transform options down below down here, and then type in 45 degrees and click the green checkbox. So there we are. We've now rotated that top layer around by 45 degrees. That begins to give us a little bit of an additional complexity in here. We'll be just adding in more and more complexity as we go. Now I want to merge these two layers up to a new layer. I want to keep these here, but I want to merge them to a new layer. And you can do that by using the Control, Shift, Alt, and E keyboard shortcut. See there it is. Let me just hide those two layers. So they're now combined onto this one new layer up here. Let me just bring those back in again. There we go. So here's our new combined layer. And this is layer one. We're now going to do a special move on this one. And to do this move, we need to know what the pixel dimensions is. So go up to the image menu, come down to resize and image size, and take a look at your pixel dimensions right here. They should be the same, of course, because it's square, and it's 1280. So half of that is 640. That's the number that I want to know. We'll now go up to the Filter menu, come down to Other, and Offset. And this allows us to offset the image horizontally and or vertically. Let's kind of move this around. You see how it's just pushing that image off to the side there? And I have this set at 640. And what that does is it offsets it exactly halfway horizontal and halfway vertical giving us a new center point. These used to be the corners, and now they're in the center. Now make sure you have this set to wrap around. If it's set to transparent, you just get that with the other images showing in behind. If it's repeat edges, you get this kind of strange thing here. The one you want is wrap around, just like that. There we go. Choose OK. All right, so that is now that layer. We're going to then duplicate this layer again. Take it up to the New Layer button like that. There's our duplication. And we're going to rotate this one. Around. We just want to flip this around. And we'll do that up here. Image, Rotate, and come down to Rotate Layer down here. Notice there are two sections here. The top one rotates the whole file. The bottom section rotates just the layer. You want Rotate Layer 180. It just flips it around. So it's now upside down. And we're then going to blend this layer into layer one. So layer one to copy, blend it into layer one. And we'll use a blend mode down here of lighten. And it gives you that. Now you can use different blend modes. 
Lots of different possibilities in here. Actually, if you use the wheel on your mouse, you can roll through the different blend modes and get all kinds of different interesting blends happening in here. That's not a bad spot to use as well, this exclusion. But we're using Lighten for this when we get back to that again. There we go. So, Blend Mode Lighten. Now, I want to merge this stuff again into a new layer. Same trick, that's the Control, Shift, Alt, and E. And I tap that twice by accident. Let me just undo that extra layer. So you have layer two, and that's blending all this stuff, including blending that lightning mode. Notice it's back to normal again. So there's our layer two blend. We're now going to flip this layer left and right. Do that image and rotate again. And then come down here, flip layer, horizontal. Just like that. There we go. So it just reverses that left and right. It's different from spinning it. It's just swapping left and right, but the top and the bottom stay the same. And we're going to be changing the blend mode here on this layer to darken. And we begin to see the kaleidoscope effect happening in here. Now you may like it at this point. Actually, I kind of like it myself at this point. It's not a complete kaleidoscope effect where everything matches, but it's real nice. And you actually might want to stop at this point and then just use this layer at layer two. I'll show you the final layer and this one as two options as you get down below here. Now I want to, at this point, take this, do the same trick again, make a new layer out of this one using that Control, Shift, Alt, and E. And again, I tapped that twice by accident. Let me just get that out of there. There we go. Layer three. Now on layer three, I want to rotate this layer. So I'll go up to Image, Rotate, and again down in the Layer section here, rotate layer 90 degrees left, like that. And we'll blend this layer into this layer, and that will give us that even kaleidoscopic effect. So let's change the Blend Mode here on layer three to Darken, and there's the full kaleidoscope effect happening. It's all even, clear around. So again, two ways of doing this. One is to stop at layer two, which I think is real nice, very pretty, or go all the way up here to layer three. Now the last thing you want to do on this is to put an adjustment layer above this to give you more control over the final look. So layer, come down to new adjustment layer and levels. Don't check this checkbox, leave that unchecked, choose OK. You now can adjust the lightness or darkness of the whole image right here. And you can bring in more darkness on the left. So this increases your contrast on the dark end. This right side increases your contrast on the right side. And then you can adjust the middle value. So you can come in here and then use this to get just the look that you want. Let me just close that down. So there is layer two. And there's with the final layer three. And then finally, at this point, you can actually change the blend modes on layer three to get different effects. Let's go back up here. I'll go back to normal. And then I'll just use my wheel on the mouse and roll down. There's darken. There's multiply. There's color burn, linear burn. So you get all kinds of different effects in here just by rolling down with this mouse. Actually, lighten's not too bad. Let's just adjust the values on our levels in here and darken those down a bit. And it gets a pretty nice, pretty nice look in here on that lighten effect. So a little adjustment from the levels to kind of fine tune the look. Let's go back down here to layer three. And then I'll just keep on going down with the wheel on the mouse. There are lots of possibilities in here, as you can see. Just depends on which one you like. And then do your fine tune adjustments using the levels control right down there. Let's go clear to the bottom down here. Some other nice stuff. Difference. Exclusion is kind of interesting. Almost a Scottish look on that one. There's hue. Here's a saturation effect. Color effect. Luminosity. Okay, let's set this back up to darken and I'll reset my values in here. Looks like just about there is pretty good. Be a little less on that side and bring that down just a bit on the middle. So there we go, and a little brighter. And that looks pretty nice. So there it is, that's how to do a kaleidoscopic effect. Let's just enlarge this, I'll just float the window 
and pull this out. Zoom in so you can see this better. There's the whole picture. We're just about, just a little larger here. And there it is. There's the whole picture. And this is using layer three. And there it is with just that layer, to which I also think is a real nice effect. Okay, and that's how you do that kaleidoscope effect. Let's just take one last look at our beginning picture here. Here's the background. I'll make a copy of this background. Drag this to the top. And there it is. There's the original picture. And here it is after all of our work in here with these layers and blend modes. And that's the Photoshop Elements kaleidoscopic effect. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.